Good morning, guys. It's me. Um, it is 7.45 on the morning of Wednesday, July 8th. Today is my first monitoring appointment. I just went and had um, my blood draw done this morning, and I'll have my ultrasound and follicle scan later this afternoon, um, which means I get to get off work early, which is kind of cool. But um, look at, let me show you. So I'm wearing pink and black. And look at the, uh, my, she gave me a pink band-aid. I love it. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so I just went and had my blood done. Um, I'm a little bit worried because for my baseline ultrasound, no, yeah, it was my baseline ultrasound. So I had an ultrasound on the 21st, no, 19th, I think it was. And then at my baseline ultrasound on the 29th, um, the ultrasound tech said that she saw a cyst, but it hadn't grown, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I know on the orders, um, my doctors ask if there's any cysts, so she should have told them that, and nobody has said anything to me about it causing problems. So I wasn't too worried about it until um, I started my stimming, and now I'm on cycle day... Eight, but um, I started my stims on Friday, so I'm on cycle day. Today is cycle day six of stimming. So I took my medications last night. Um, haven't taken them today yet. They want me to take them at night, and um, I'm feeling. I, I can feel my ovaries growing, and I feel a lot of ovary twinges and pain in my right ovary, which is the ovary that I had the cyst on. So I'm nervous that that cyst is growing um, and going to cause problems for me. I'm really, really nervous about it. But hopefully it's not and I'm just trying to be optimistic and thinking that I'll get confirmation that, that it's not going to be a problem. Hopefully I get that today. I guess that's all for now. I will update you guys again after my ultrasound, and if I have anything then, I'll update you. Otherwise, um, we'll wait until I hear back from my doctor. Talk to you guys later, bye. Hey guys, so um, it's about 2.30 now, and I just got out of my ultrasound. Um, the cyst, she said, is about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger, so um, not too worried about that. I still need to hear back from my doctor because like I said this is just the ultrasound tech so they don't really know or I don't know IVF isn't something that they do so um, I'm still waiting to hear back from my doctor about that so we'll have to wait for them to get the reports um, my right ovary has seven measurable follicles um, ranging from 9 to 11 millimeters she said which is good I think that that's pretty average my left ovary has 10 measurable follicles and those are ranging they're, they're bigger she said um anywhere from 10 to 12 and I have one dominant one that's at 17 so again I'm now I'm nervous about my left ovary um, I don't I don't know if that 17 is gonna be a problem because that's that seems pretty large especially compared to the rest of them um, my lining's at 9, which is probably, I think, from the research I've done, is right about where it should be. So, um, right now, we're, I'm just waiting, going to wait for the doctor to call me, my doctor to call me after he gets the reports. I'm sure they already have my blood work um, information. So, once they get the reports, they will call me and let me know how everything's going. I'm guessing they better because I'm freaking out. And I know I said I'm not going to stress, but it's hard. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. And I will let you guys know what the doctor says. Talk to you later. Can you hear the ice cream truck? It makes me want to run outside. <laughs> okay, anyways. Okay, so my doctor just called. It's about 4.30 or so. And, um... Well, it's not really the doctor. I think it's the nurse. I don't know. I don't know what she is. But um, she just called. And actually, I'm lying to you. She didn't call. I called them to ask if they had gotten my results for my blood work and my ultrasound. And she said, 
not yet. Um, what did they see? <laughs> and so I had to tell her everything I just told you guys about the measurable follicles and everything. Um, I told her about the follicle that's measuring at 17. And I asked if that was going to be a problem. And she said, no, 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 not at all. That's, that's nothing to worry about. Just stay on all my meds. And then she said that she was going to call the lab to get my blood work results for my estradiol. And she called them and then called me back. And I'm pissed. Um, we won't have those results until tomorrow. Even though on the doctor's orders it has estrogen or estradiol. And then it says same day results, stat, all this stuff is written all over it. They knew that we needed this today. Um, they said that they don't run estradiol on they don't do those tests except for on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I should have written RE2 on my paperwork and then they would have done it today I don't get it it says E2 and estradiol and stat and same day results I don't get it so we won't have those results until tomorrow um that stresses me out like it just stresses me out but um when my when I was talking to her, she said not to worry about it, just to stay on all my medications. Um, that that is the only thing that is going to hurt me is if I stop taking any any of my medications. Which duh, like why would I stop taking any of them? But um, yeah, so I'm still taking my five units of Lupron in the morning, and then at night I'm taking 150 units of Folistim and 150 units of the Menopure. Um, I did order two more vials of Menopure because I I might need them. I don't know, but um. Right now, I have enough to get me through Thursday, tomorrow night, tonight, tomorrow night, and enough Folistim for Friday. So, um, I ordered two more vials of the Menop here, just in case. I'm going to need those. Um, and she had me write all over my paperwork for Friday. My next appointment is going to be on Friday for my blood draw and my other ultrasound. She had me write all over that paperwork, RE2. And I'm going to drive them crazy to make sure that they get those results on Friday. Because as far as, from what they're thinking, that's going to be my last monitoring appointment. I'm probably going to trigger on Sunday. And like I said, retrieval Tuesday, transfer next Friday. So, um, yeah, that's it. And I will update you guys again on Friday. I hope everybody's doing great and having an awesome week. Um, we'll talk to you guys in a day and a half. Bye-bye.